Since 2011, the International Sports Press Association, AIPS, has been investing in the future of sports journalism through the AIPS Young Reporters Program, which offers the new generation a unique chance of first-hand experience at covering a top international event. AIPS President Gianni Merlo always feels very proud whenever he gets to meet and catch up with some of the beneficiaries of the program at other sporting events. And this was the case at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games where the AIPS president reunited with Ryan Musalem from Lebanon and Jeroen Adriansé from the Netherlands, among others. Ryan was one of 16 AIPS young reporters at the FIFA on the 17 Women's World Cup in Jordan in 2016. The fans are flooding out from Amman International Stadium where the opening ceremony officially kicked off the FIFA U17 Women's World Cup. A few months after the competition, she began to work full-time for AIPS Media and covered her first Olympic Games in Pyeongchang in 2018. I covered my first ever Olympic Games uh, uh, with the IPS. It was in uh, the Winter Games in Pyeongchang in 2018. So um, I learned a lot from, uh, from that. And given that I was a young reporter, I took the experience from my previous program that I did back in Jordan and the FIFA Under-17 Women World Cup. And uh, I took everything I learned to the, uh, to the Olympic Games, even though it's, um, it's so much different. You know, the Olympic Games is much bigger than the Under-17 Women World Cup. But still, I kind of uh, had the basics, let's say. And uh, uh, the first ever games to me were a bit different because uh, I used to watch the Olympics on TV. But when you go to the actual games and you see what happens be behind the scenes, you, uh, you figure out how much work is happening there. Ryan currently works in the Arabic language department of Agent France Press, AFP. When I was working with the IPS in, um, in uh, Pyeongchang 2018, we kind of had like uh, uh, to cover some stories during the day and look for stories and uh, uh, find some angles about certain sports. But, not, but now the work is a bit different because AFP is a news agency, which means we have to cover all the results, like every result happening in the game. And uh, since I work in the Arabic department of AF AFP, who has five different languages, so as well, we focus more on the Arab players. So it was uh, very challenging, but uh, challenging in the beautiful way. Yerun's first program was at the UEFA Women's Euro hosted by his home country in 2017, after which he was invited to report on the Special Olympics Europe Eurasia Refugee Forum in 2018, and the AIPS 82nd Congress in 2019. I've learned some pretty interesting interview techniques. He also participated in the IOC Young Reporters Program at the Summer Youth Olympic Games in Buenos Aires in 2018 and the Winter Youth Olympic Games in Lausanne in 2020. Little wonder he was part of the Olympic Information Service team at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. This summer I covered the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 in Japan as part of the Olympic Information Service, OAS, which is basically a news agency provided during the Olympic and Paralympic Games for accredited media to gather flash quotes, read previews, reviews of the sports, and also to just help everyone out uh, uh, remotely. So media that have been working from their own countries and their own newsrooms, they can just log into a system called MyInfo and then access everything that uh, we report on. I guess every single person who gets the chance to be a young reporter, uh, he's lucky or she's lucky. Because first of all, you get to meet friends from all around the world. And, uh, uh, and luckily, the group that I was with in Jordan, uh, we've been told from people, probably from IPS, that like, we are the group that like, stuck together the most amongst probably all the, the other Young Reporters program. So we're still friends now. We still chat, it's, if not every day, let's say at least once per week. So, uh, uh, and getting to know people from different cultures and, and learning from them and giving what you know to them is uh, something amazing. I would say it was a really valuable experience for me because uh, four years ago I didn't really have a lot of experience in 
in journalism or in the sports industry, I followed women's football for a year and this really allowed me to, you know, to see what it's like to be a part of a, um, yeah, a massive sports event, to, to cover it as a sports journalist with the guidance of uh, our mentors provided by the AIPS. And I would say this has been a real stepping stone for me in my career in the sports industry because it had built me, allowed me to, you know, cover the Olympic Games this summer.